welcome to this video for cheap fragrances that smell expensive. The singular motivation for this video was to be able to smell like the best person in the room while still being kind to your pocket. Fragrances are one of those luxury items that don't necessitate you to show the other person what you are wearing but it actually leaves the person with a certain emotion and feeling about you. Hopefully by the end of this video you will have some recommendations for cheap fragrances that actually smell expensive. The first fragrance on our list is Ajmal Evoke Gold for Men. Despite the color of the bottle and the name of the fragrance, the first color that comes to mind when you're wearing this fragrance is a pristine, clean, unadulterated white. Evoke Gold is really what Prada Lom should have been. Uh, when Prada released Lom in 2016, it was an amazing fragrance. The only problem was that the performance and the longevity were abysmal. And I really wanted to purchase that fragrance, but it was hard to justify uh, buying Prada Lom for about $125 for a fragrance that doesn't last. You can pick this up for about $40 to $50. It has incredible performance. Uh, everyone can smell you, and it smells identical to Prada Lom. The second fragrance on our list is the better parts of Memo's Irish and Italian leather. And that fragrance is Latafa's Anal Abyad Leather. The idea of wearing uh, leather in the summer is quite foreign because it is such a heavier note. So what Memo has done with Irish and Italian leather is that they've created a fragrance which blends leather and juniper berries and wait for it, tomato leaf respectively. So it's a very wearable leather during the summer or during the warmer months. I mean, you can wear this during the winter and fall as well, which is very appropriate, but you could get away with wearing this during the summer and the spring. The suggested retail price for Memo fragrances is about $300. So enter Anal Abyad Leather. This fragrance can be equally worn by men and women, and it really captures the better parts of Irish and Italian leather. So what you'll get from this fragrance, in the opening, it will be that tomato leaf, very vegetal, very green. And then the leather will come in and it'll blend. And towards the mid notes, you'll get the uh, juniper berries. And it's a beautiful fragrance altogether. And anyone can actually wear this fragrance. And the beautiful part about this is that Anali Abiyav leather comes in at about $25 depending on where you buy it. It's almost a disservice to your collection to not have this fragrance part of it. I would argue that this is a niche fragrance bottled at designer prices. The last thing I want to say about this fragrance is a word of caution that this is a very daring and edgy fragrance. So if you are a person that likes to color outside the lines, I recommend that you try this fragrance. The third fragrance on our list much has been said about this already and the bottom line is it is a massive compliment getter and that fragrance is Mont Blanc's Individuel and Mont Blanc's Individuel comes in at easily $25-30 there's a freshness and clean aspect with this fragrance that just forces people to gravitate towards you and uh, to compliment you um, it's liked, well liked by men, and it's well liked. It's well liked by men and women. This fragrance is very similar to Original Santal. Original Sant Creed's Original Santal comes in at about three hundred dollars a bottle. Um, you cannot go wrong with this fragrance uh, in terms of gifting it to any to somebody, or if you're just tired of having blue fragrances in your collection, this is definitely something to look into. The fourth fragrance on our list. Uh, is a fragrance that um, is really high-end, very classy, smells extremely sophisticated. So it's that fragrance that you would want to wear with a black suit or if you're going to a black tie event. And uh, some people, I mean, I would say it leans more 60% masculine and 40% feminine, but a woman can wear this as well. This fragrance is Duetto Parfum's Golden Boy. This is a fragrance that is very similar to Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather. There are other fragrances that are similar to Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather. 
I haven't opened this yet, but this is Rasasi's La Yuqawam. Um, and because I'm actually using uh, um, Duet de Parfum's Golden Boy. So what this fragrance is like, is like you just purchased a new car with stitched leather seats and you open the door and you sit inside the car and it has that new leather smell. And then you get this waft of like raspberries. Uh, and you turn around and you look in the back seat and it's just full of raspberries. So it's this medley of leather and this medley of raspberries coming together. This is a very hot and cold fragrance. Um, and at around 60 to 70 uh, dollars, you can pick up either Golden Boy's, uh, Duet de Parfum's Golden Boy or La Rassassi's La Yuqawam um, and you would be smelling very much like uh, Tuscan leather. Next fragrances are on our list is really a fruit basket which is mixed with musk. And a lot of people know about Zerjoff's uh, Herbacura um, or what used to be Suspira's Herbacura and this is Latafa's Anal Abyad. This is the original Anal Abyad. So there are three in this line, Anal Abyad which is the original, uh, Anal Abyad Leather and Anal Abyad Rouge which is supposed to be a uh, replica of uh, Baccarat Rouge uh, 540. So what do you get from an Abyad, which is just basically uh, a fruit basket and musk, and it's a very polarizing scent. Many people like it, uh, many people do not like it, uh, and it really does well in the air as opposed to in, on the body. And what I mean by that is that um, people really do notice you um, if you're walking past or you're sitting in a room, uh, people will notice you, but it smells very strong when you smell it right off of your skin. People do enjoy this scent and it is a worthy alternative, especially at a price point of only about $25. Sixth fragrance on our list is Swiss Arabian Sharaf Oud Abyad. And this is a fragrance which is very similar to Amouage's Interlude. So what do you get from this fragrance? This fragrance is very simply, you're wear wearing a leather jacket, it's dark, it's nighttime, and you're going to wander into the forest, and it's really dark, and you notice from afar there's a fire, and you approach the fire, and you're quickly enveloped with this uh, smoke, and there's the leather that you're wearing, and because you've been in the forest, it's this uh, woody smell. So it's all of those things come together and this is a very, very bold, this is an extremely bold fragrance. If you've been wearing Tuscan leather or Ombre leather 16 or Ombre leather and you wanted to upgrade your game, this would definitely be a fragrance you would be looking into. And um, this inter, Amouage's interlude comes in at about $300 for 100 mil, but you can pick up Sharaf Oud Abyad for about $60. It has the same tenacity of interlude, but at a fraction of the cost. The seventh fragrance on our list needs no introduction. This is Creed's Aventus. Almost every house out there has something similar to Creed's Aventus. There are companies that have built their entire uh, business foundation on the DNA of Creed Aventus. So this fragrance would come in between anywhere between $300 to $500 depending on bottle sizes, batches, uh, etc. So I just I wanted to share with you two alternatives to Creed's Aventus. The first alternative is if you like Creed's pineapple opening and you want that opening to last for a longer period of time, then I recommend getting Rassassi Zebra. Um, Rassassi Zebra Pour Lui. You can pick this up for about $25 to $30. It's very cheap, it lasts a long time, and it smells uh, very similar to Creed's Aventus. So if you in enjoy that pineapple opening and you want it to last for most of the entirety of the life of the fragrance, then I recommend Rassassi Zebra. The second fragrance that I would recommend, if you like a balanced Aventus with equal parts pineapple and equal parts birch, I recommend Pineapple Vintage Intense. And this fragrance is actually, I would say it's a little bit pricier than other expirations out there, but it is a good fragrance that has equal parts of both. 
um, and it's a very well-balanced inspiration of Creed's Aventus. The eighth fragrance on our list is a very interesting fragrance because it is a fragrance that the original was created by the same perfumer that created this fragrance. If you enjoy woody lumberjack fragrances, I recommend checking out Bentley for Men Absolute. Bentley for Men, a Bentley, obviously the car company. So this is a cedar dominant fragrance and you have to like woods to actually enjoy this fragrance. It comes in as a replacement for Gucci Pour Homme, um, which is currently discontinued. And you can only find Gucci Pour Homme on eBay or the black market or the gray market for around $484. Uh, the author behind or the perfumer behind Gucci Pour Homme is Michel Almarac. And he actually is the same perfumer who made Bentley for Men Absolute. So basically what he did was he took his formula from Gucci Pour Homme and he bottled it into Bentley for Men Absolute. At about $40, $40, $45, you cannot go wrong with this uh, incredible scent. The last fragrance on our list is what is known as the scent of Manhattan. And when this fragrance was launched, people sprayed this everywhere. There are, uh, it was in hotel rooms, it was in hotel lobbies, people wanted cosmetics made out of it. They wanted, there was even a detergent that was made from this fragrance. And that fragrance is Le Labo Santal 33, or Santal 33. And it's a sandalwood dominant fragrance. This fragrance is called SJP's Stash. So this fragrance is not identical to Le Labo's uh, Santal uh, 33, but it is very similar. So I would say it's in the same vein, uh, it's in the same book, but it's a different chapter from uh, Santal 33. So this comes in at about $80, which is easier on your pocket than paying $300 for uh, Santal 33. Uh, and you can find this fragrance online. It's a little bit harder to find in store, but you can find it sometimes online and in um, discount stores such as Ross or TJ Maxx or Winners. You get a creamy, musky sandalwood, which is very enveloping, very nice, um, and very much a fragrance that you can wear throughout the entire year. This has an extreme likability factor. You know who is male, female, young, or old, enjoys this fragrance. So I'm always on the lookout for something which is new, different, unique, uh, or something that smells similar to something else. So if you have any recommendations, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.